What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be working on this Bali inverter. And right off the rip, I have to say, this thing has bad engineering. So, before we get into it, I'm going to show you all the flaws on this machine. So, you have to remove these to get to the side panel. Most inverters, you can just work on the side panel and don't have to do a lot more. But as soon as you remove any of these bolts to the side panel, gas tank is just loose and falls down. Nothing support other than the side panel. Now, also, you're going to say, okay, well, you got those two bolts off. Why is the side panel off? Well, something's still holding it. There's five Phillips they put on the bottom. That is ridiculous. So you can't work on this thing on the floor like some inverters. You actually have to have it on a bench or tip it over on its side to work on it because of these five Phillips down here, which I find is ridiculous. So we're going to fix this thing today. It's not running, not starting. Sounds like a carburetor issue. Carburetor's hidden right there. And we got to get rid of the side panel. I don't know. I've never worked on one of these bollies before. I don't know if I have to remove this wheel or not. It feels like, yes, I'm going to have to remove it. So, let's get into it. Also, if you like small engine repair content, and you guys, like, you know, you guys thinking about starting a small engine business, make sure you leave a like on this video. And also subscribe to the channel. I try to make content regularly. And I also provide business tips and other things like that. But every now and then you get these unusual ones. That one might be stripped. But it looks like I can at least get a flathead in there. And undo it. Let me see if I can have a flathead nearby. This would be a pain. Okay, time to get a flathead. Well, that was a useless tool that I'll never use again. Or maybe I was using it wrong. Now I'm going to go to the back side here where the spark arrestor is. There's another Phillips down here by the wheel. Pretty much you got to dismantle these things to the extreme. Yeah, see if someone was in here before. There's a bolt there or a nut. So it does look like I'm going to have to get rid of the tire. 13. We recording good. Tires off. That was pretty easy. Another Phillips. This is just not a fun design, to say the least. What are we looking at now? Just that one stripped out bolt. Just gonna bend that bolt out of the way. At least now I have access. Guess we could leave the gas tank on there. Now see, now I wonder if I can get in there. See if I can get in there with a pair of pliers that would reverse turn this thing. That's fine. We'll put it back up there. Okay. So, yeah, the bolt was stripped anyway, so. Now we have access to the carburetor. Which actually, now that the bulk of it's off, this part should be pretty easy. Trying to get a better view of the... Okay, let's take off the air filter cover here. That's a 10 millimeter been about the normal most oh great there's one down there too you gotta be shitting me and there's no way i'm getting my impact gun down there i barely get a socket in there this has to be the worst inverter i've ever worked on but hey you guys we're getting it done normally it's a clamp and this one does have an o2 sensor right here air filter cover is off we got the two standard tins like always right here that is pretty standard on everything, and I think if I just loosen them, should be able just to get in there and undo it by hand, yeah. That's how I always do it. I wonder where that other little nut came from. There's a gasket. Now, there's not one behind here, is there? No, okay. So coming off here. Oh, my God. They did. They put a third one in right down here. Let's just move it out of the way. Take off our vent tube. What is this? Double gasket, metal, and paper. Oh, that's for the choke as well. You know what? Why we're here, actually, I think we might be able to pull this out a little bit. Get down there and just do a basic clean on the bowl. There we go. Let me get a rocket. 
I'm going the wrong way. Because if I could just clean out the bowl. Oh, there's gas coming out. That's fine. And make sure this gas is on off, off here. Okay, everything is off. So the gas in it should just be the gas that's in it. Smells fine. Yeah, if I could go without taking the whole thing apart, that would be perfect. Give it a light tap. Bowl looks clean. But at least now from here, I have access to that jet. Let me get you in there close. That jet right there on the side. So I can get in there. Actually, I think I might be able to. Let me see. Hang on. I got this super cool micro drill here. I got it from Timu, but I don't like Timu anymore. So if you guys want, I'll share one in the description. They come with these super cool little drill bits. I'll share one in the description for Amazon. If you guys want to pick one up. You know what? We're not going to use this. We're going to use our carburetor cleaning wires since I can bend them better. It's a Bully 09. That's what it says on the... This is for the jet. And I'll have a set of these in the description as well if you guys want to check it out. Okay. Got that jet pretty much cleared all the way out. We go up through here. Clear out everything up there through the emulsion tube and now we'll clean it with some carburetor cleaner let me get that going. okay carburetor cleaner is in action i'm going to get up in this emulsion tube here and we're just going to spray around there you go that's coming out where i want it to come out if you see it if you spray down here and you see it come out the front of the carburetor that's a good thing so we want and of course we want to make sure we spray in this jet yeah whoever engineered this was not thinking of the mechanic there we go i think that's pretty much cleared out i would say it's good to go most of the time after you get it all you know what you think's gummed up i mean there's probably a few more holes i could spray in but to be honest i don't think it's gonna make a difference i think this thing's gonna run perfect now and then i'll tell the customer put a little sea foam in i always like to tell them that just to make them seem like it's happy but to be honest, you really don't have to. It's snake oil. But it helps clear out a little bit, I would say. Okay, I'm going to tighten this up. Now I'm going to open up this little spigot for gas. Oh, with a smaller flathead. Now we're going to turn on the gas. And make sure that this thing is actually getting fuel. And as you see, it is. Turn off the gas. I'm going to let it fill up real quick. Just to make sure we're not leaking anywhere. While I put this all back together, and I put back together, we just push back on, put on the air filter again, making sure. Good, no leaks, no leaks. That's what you want to see. So now we're just finishing up. We're going to put our carburetor all the way back on. We're going to put our vent tube back in place. And there's still no leaks. That is good. That's what we want to see. Okay, I'm going to tighten everything up, put it all back together, and then we're going to find out if she runs. This is by far one of the worst inverters I've ever worked on. So, we'll turn the engine on to on. The gas is on to the on. All right, yeah, yeah. Uh, this thing has electric start, but I think the battery's dead. Yeah, battery's dead. <laughs> so, we'll just give it the old pull start. Eco throttle works good. So far, everything is working perfect. That's what we want to see. Eco throttle again. Plug in the old test light here. Make sure it's producing power. And it is beautiful. Beautiful. I am happy to see that it is up and running the way it's supposed to be. Oh, sorry. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, it is nighttime outside and I am working. But I got it done. So, hey, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button as always. This is Repair Gang and I'll catch you guys on the next one.